Hello, this is a Bersendorfer 170 centimeters long grand piano made in 1936. It's one of our preferred makes of small grand piano and we've sold several in the past. We've got other videos of the same model of piano. Um, this is very similar. There are very consistently good pianos. Looking at the casework, uh, there's a few defects. These aren't defects, they're uh, actually reflections, but really extremely good condition. Uh, really, the, all the sides, there haven't been any fading on the piano at all, it's integral. Our polish has already gone over it, and there are some scratches on the top, as you can see. So that's obviously devaluing the piano. We certainly can repolish the whole piano, and that's something we regularly do. But uh, it's a musician's instrument, and you may feel you don't want to pay the extra for the repolishing. The top of the fall is very good, and also, as you can see, the same sort of colour here. But there's a few marks on the music stand, obviously, where the music's been been standing. Uh, here's in very good condition, beautiful design. And this side, too, is a few scratches there. So trying to show up all the scratches on the case so that you're well aware of it. If you can't come in to, to uh, try the piano out, then we, you can always have it on trial for, on a rental period. Um, there's uh, details on that on our website if you look at the rentals page. Um, but if you want to come, obviously, it's much better if you can come in and uh, try the piano out for yourself but many times people do try pianos out by renting them first and um, there's been restrung and is in perfect condition we've obviously been refining the piano as much as we can we haven't changed the strings ourselves but that's been restrung recently and the tuning pins are extremely tight the dampers are in perfect condition so it's been restrung and these tuning pins aren't the originals you uh, would be much looser if they were as we've shown before but these are change tuning pins, not the original Bersendorfer strings. And that's uh, a different way of finishing off on the original Bersendorfer. So, but uh, we'll listen to the tone in a minute. It's uh, very well chosen strings. Uh, there were some chips on the keys here. I noticed on the worksheet, my colleague's been doing most of the work on this. So just coming to see if any further refinements might need doing, but I can't see any of the chips at all. Um, they're particularly good at disguising chips. So really the keys look perfect. I think if you get close to this one, you can actually see where it was chipped. Uh, I probably can't see too well on the video, but the colour is perfect. I've already regulated the action so that it's performing correctly. The springs are, jump, are jumping just about the right, the right speed. So there's some very fine regulation still to do. If we look at the hammers, now they look absolutely perfect. So when it was restrung, the hammers doesn't seem to be worn at all, really. So that's very encouraging. The one thing the worksheet does show is that uh, the key, the weight of the keys is very light. So if we look at 53 grams, that'd be acceptable there, but 46, that's fine. It's, it's just light action. It's acceptable if you want a light action. Uh, 42 is a bit low. 50 would be normal, so 47 to 52. Um, so it's on the low side and it's quite light. So when you play it, it's very good for light playing. Of course, early keyboards were very light. So touch is personal. We'll compare it with another piano. This is the Bluesner 160 centimeters long piano. And we've done more refinement on this piano. It's really ready to go very much so. And we've reduce the weight here by lubrication so this was a case of it being too heavy um, and this is fine if you are practicing the piano if you're learning sorry if you're taking exams it's a good weight to have just perhaps about five percent more than average so um, there's slightly varied no bigger pardon that's 58 which is about five percent or a little bit more than, than average 52 we've mentioned many times before 47 to 52 53 58 is, is slightly on the high side but it's good if you want to um, practice scales and so on if you want to develop your fingers in fact playing it it doesn't feel heavy at all it did feel heavier If we compare the tone of them, this Bersendorfer, uh, you notice the hammers weren't really used at all. They also weren't not been voiced very much. And it is quite bright, really. So 
Well, that's generally a lot mellower. Beautiful overall tone this Bosendorf has got, but it is brighter. It's so easy to mellow the hammers down, that's not a problem. But if you want a bright tone, then we can leave it as it is. Again, that's quite personal, really. If we're not uh, specify, if we don't specify anything, then we set them all at more or less medium. That's a Bosendorfer 170 centimetres long grand piano made in 1936 and it's a piano we're delighted to source always. It's one that we're always looking for. For a short grand piano there is nothing better really. And this one's currently very bright and a bit on the light side. We can certainly work on both of those if you want a heavier action, if you want a, a mellower tone. That can certainly be produced if you listen to the underlying sound tone of the piano. If you're interested in the piano, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com. Let us know what you'd like to do. As I say, you can try out pianos, renting them out first if you can't come in. But ideally for us, and also it's more economical to come in and try the piano and to purchase it. <laughs> 